Oh yeah, he's back at the cutting board. About time, he said, they said. Looking at a heavy hitter today, S125V. You've heard of 110V. This has an extra 15V, isn't it? Uh, in all seriousness, I'll put a chemical composition up on the screen now. You'll see it's got a whole butt ton of vanadium in it. So it's one of those hard carbide formers. Makes an edge last a long time. Look at this knife though. Um, mucho thank you. This was sent to me by, by a viewer. Um, I didn't, I, he said, yeah, and it was my mistake. I, he said, hey, I've got an Andre Burikov knife coming along. Um, can I send it to you for testing? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's in 125V. I'm like, haven't done that before. Yeah, do it. Didn't do any research. I, I get a fair few emails. I was like, yeah, cool. We'll see if that one happens. And yeah, it happened. And I hadn't done any research. And I was like, I assume it's going to be like a Creely style fixed blade or something. And what it is, it's a, it's a Shiro Gorov lookalike. Absolutely stumped me when I got it. I was like, what is this? This can't be real. Like, you wouldn't get a super premium, really hard to manage steel and just put it in a lookalike knife, would you? You would, apparently. That's what is. That's what this fella does. Um, I don't think the Shiro's are 100% okay with it. So, um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll probably not be doing a review of this knife. I, the whole thing just makes me feel a bit weird. But it is, apparently from reputation and from you know his own YouTube videos this gentleman does a um, does a, a 125V so rare steel hard to find uh, rare in pocket knives rare in pretty much everything because it's one of those steels why would you choose this one you could go a little bit more crazy and do Rex 121 you go a little less crazy and do 110V so it's that kind of middle tier crazy that so often is neglected which is a real shame like some people so there's some wonderful people who are just middle tier crazy they never end up in jail they never end up happily married either it's just a shame so it's probably that kind of situation with the 125V why we don't see it too many times what we're going to do first it's got a really nice factory edge on it well whether it's factory or whatever whether it's I guess it's not a factory it's I think it's I'll do my research more, but then I'm just about the steel. It's got a really lovely edge. Let's use the Tormek angle card and see what kind of edge this is. Alright, so it's too tight for 15. It is 17 degree edge. Yep. It is a 17 degree edge, which is quite a relief, really. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I will sharpen this, i got to see how it sharpens, but um, for this test, 17 degrees, um, it looks just machine-like finished, I'm just going to go with it, see what happens, I've got my KME system, I'll have a crack on it, but I'll, um, I just want to get an initial number down on S125V, see how it does, so the test, the way this goes, I'll cut until it no longer does that to paper, so instantly biting in and cutting, once it's no longer reliably doing that, after cutting some twisted sisal rope, that's when the test is going to be over, my friends. So, without much further talking, let's see what happens when we get S125V and do a rope cut test with it. Ooh. No worries. Three hundred. Standing up because my shoulders sore. No worries, mate. Three hundred. Good on you.
50. Oh, you fucker. Hey, wait a minute. Ah, there was a sweat spot. Fucking fantastic. 550. Ugh. Six fifty six five zero. Oh, hey, that looks. That's a definite catch. Dry paper. Yes. Yep, yeah, that's that's catching. That's catching. That's catching. Oh. Right -o. 650. That makes this the at this angle 17 degrees. I think it makes it the second best of all of them so far. Second only to Rex 121. Did I do max? No, maximum was up to 800. So no, third best so far. Max at maximum was that? Oh, the numbers are on my list. Oh, maximum was 800 ish. Rex 121 was 950 at 17 degrees. Can't tell you exactly what the finish was. But um, I think it was probably the optimal for this. I think this guy knows how to do this. And this one was at 62 Rockwell. It says so on the blade. Um, yeah, that was um, very uncomfortable because it's a folding knife and folding knives aren't the most fun because they've got a channel in there, you know? And my, my push cutting rope grip, and this is, I, was tr I try and use this portion of the blade here. A couple of times I roll cut it through and I didn't count those. So, um, yeah, I was largely using this inch and a half or so here. Um, and it's still not a dull knife. As you can sort of see, still cuts if you do it just right, but I'm talking reliably, just grab a bit of paper, like, still does it down the end, because I wasn't using the end. You know, grab any bit of paper and just go, and it'll, half the time it'll tear, half the time it'll slice. No longer reliably slicing. Oh. Um, so, that's a pretty impressive steel though, I must say. That's um, that's a good number from this steel. Very good, very imposing result. Um, higher than, yeah, just under Maximet and Rex 121. So, I mean, those are some pretty heavy hitting steels. But yeah, again though, why would you, now that Maximet seems to be quite widely available, I guess why would you seek this one in particular? What are the good attributes of this that those don't have? I don't know, I guess it's uh, probably more stainless is what I would suggest. Still, so it's still got, I guess, a stainlessness factor to it, which Maximet kind of has, uh, but it does Patina and Rex 121 kind of has, but. Wow, I mean, overall build of the knife, it seems like a nicely made knife, but the fact that it's like a, it's a pretty obviously a Shiro 95 alike, kind of makes me feel a bit seedy about using it, but um, hey, the steels are steel, and that's why a lot of us are here watching this channel, innit? So, there you go. All right, my dudes and dudette, or two. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's uh, S125V. And um, I'll see you in the next uh, video, which won't be a steel test. Ah, dying. All right, guys. Gotcha. So I'm just going to answer the question of resharpenability now by putting the paper slicing super edge back on it, probably just to 600 grit. I think that's what a steel with this kind of carbide form is probably best with. So we're going to use the KME, we're just going to use the Sharpie method, put the 17 degree edge right back on there. So let's see how we go.
back to very effortlessly slicing the paper. That's the kind of sharpness that you want out of these, um, how I like most of my steels really. A little bit uh, coarse, so 600 grit finish on this 125V. Um, it just feels nice and, yeah, nice and cutty. <laughs> Adjective found me. But yeah, in terms of actually sharpening this thing, uh, I did reveal a bit about the blade. Um, there's a little spot down right at the end that was actually quite unevenly ground on the initial bevel and I still haven't quite got it out. You can see, I might macro it, but it's just pinches in a little bit and goes up a little tiny bit. Just the sign of, you know, maybe these are all sharpened by hand and, um, and just human stuff, totally fine. Um, but yeah, really, um, in terms of experience sharpening it, I would say probably a bit like Maximet feels. Say the 300 um, grit stone on the KME feels kind of like a 600 grit. They feel like the next one up, if you get what I'm saying, uh, in terms of how much the surface of the stone feels like it grabs and, and swipes away each time. Uh, hard to explain, but yeah, definitely a, a level up in terms of, say, your S30Vs and stuff uh, with regard to being difficult to sharpen, or not difficult, but just more prolonged, I guess. Because really, once you've got an angled system, the difficulty is kind of gone. It's just the length of the sharpen, which is going to be what matters, so, you know, where it you know, where it really is noticed. I mean, I'd never mind it too much. I mean, I sharpened my Rex on a Lansky system where the stones are half as thick and it was okay. You just do it for longer. So if you've got that kind of mindset where you're just going to do it, probably not going to be bothered by, you know, a little bit extra. But yeah, in terms of um, surprises, none really feels very much like you would expect a super high vanadium, high speed uh, type steel to go. So not too bad on the sharpening front, considering the kind of edge retention you're getting. It's always, the longer the edge lasts, the general rule is, the longer the edge lasts, the longer the sharpen's gonna last. I mean, that's not always the case, but um, definitely is how it often feels, especially once you're getting towards, you know, S110, M4, K390, this, Maximet, Rex, 121, that sort of stuff. So there you go, that's the uh, uh, thoughts on the sharpening as well as the edge retention result. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.